Nick Jonas is dealing with the controversy of smoking on his own. In an issue of Cigar Aficionado, Nick Jonas is seen on the cover of the magazine with a cigar in his hand, and now a lot of his fans are annoyed with him po posing for the magazine cover. One person posted and said that it was gross and irresponsible. In your view, what do you see from the magazine cover? Do you think it is setting an example as a grown man? Do you think he's trying to convey a message? Or what do you think? Well, I think by him doing that, I feel like, like, I don't know if, like, if that would make him look like as a grown man and stuff like that. Well, everyone still look at Nick Jonas as that person from Disney Channel and stuff like that. <laughs> like, you know, Disney movie and Jonas all of that. Jonas Brothers, yeah. Yeah, from the Jonas Brothers, well. And then, like, by him doing that as the cover, like, actually, I would. You would make him think, like, oh, wow, he's all grown up now, like, you know, with a cigar and stuff like that. So, yeah, I yeah. think that people would make him, like, it would say, oh, wow, he's grown up, you know. He's not that little kid, you know, like, with the nice hair over his head, like, forever. He did have some nice hair. Yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, so I would think like while people seeing that cover it would definitely you know look at him like oh wow he grown up wow he got a cigar in his hand wow he big time okay he into yeah. that now yeah uh it's weird it's weird why I, I i get it you know growing up i used to see michael jordan with the cigar celebrated and you think like oh that's, he's the man like one yeah. the man so the cigar i just don't understand how it's irresponsible like these celebrities are not like just robots that just are perfect and i think that's People need to stop coming for celebrities that. and internalize with themselves and for them to understand, like, yo, maybe these people aren't perfect and stop treating them as if they're perfect so when they do a little slip up you're ready to crucify them yeah but a lot of people probably look at it as like oh it's irresponsible because you know they're a star they're a celebrity and stuff like that and they're supposed to be an example you know to us and stuff like that but okay at the end of the, at the i understand end, what you're saying yeah mm -hmm. sorry to cut you no, off but it's not even passionate like at the end of the day they're like regular people right I know what you're saying they're on tv they should not be the only example. There's examples in the street. If I'm walking the streets of New York City, every day I see an example of something. Mm -hmm. Like, it's everywhere. So you can't just hold one person accountable and blame him for X, Y, Z. Yes, exactly. he has influence, but so does you walking outside. Exactly. Seeing people smoke, seeing your mother smoke, seeing your aunt smoke, seeing people in your family smoke, friends. Like, exactly. influences it have are to be everywhere. A star. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So I agree. I was just telling you, like, what they might look at it, what people might, like, of you course. know. Yeah, but I agree. Like, don't, just because, you know, like, a lot. A lot of people need to stop that like with their kids like they kids look at stars and they be like all right i'm gonna do it because he do it or i'm gonna do it because she doing it like don't let your kids have that influence like you be the influence of your child exactly make so, your kids better exactly like, like yeah exactly so it's just like stop blaming these celebrities because at the end of the day you're gonna make them trying to make them into robots where they have to live their life calculated to the decimal point so now they, they develop depression, they can't do this, and they're not seen as regular human beings. You need to stop putting them on this pedestal. They're human beings, and they're allowed to do whatever you're allowed to do. Right, you know what I mean? exactly. You don't have someone down your back, besides your mom or your dad. <laughs> <laughs> do this, do that, do that, do that. And even after a while, your parents, you know, your parents back off when they see you growing up. Yeah, so imagine yeah, you're a grown man and someone's telling you, oh, it's irresponsible for you to be smoking cigars. Like, who is you? Like, I'm grown. Like, I'm past 21, so I'm grown. Like, I can do whatever man. I want to do, okay? But with that being said, me with that. exactly, you missed me with that one.